Hi YouTube, this is Tierra B. Welcome to my channel. Um, this look tonight is um, LSU themed. It's my favorite football team. So I am doing a yellow and purple cut crease. If you're interested in watching this video, keep watching. So now I'm starting with um, priming my eye. I've already did one eye off camera. And I'm priming it with Makeup Revolution in C3. So I just pack it all on there and then blend it out. Is make your makeup go on smoothly. Depending on how light your primer is, it also brightens up the color. So this was this is an um, C3 Makeup Revolution, and just make sure you just buff it out evenly. And y'all, I be up late at night, so that's when I like to do makeup. I haven't been motivated lately. But tonight, I am very motivated. I'm ready for football season, and I just feel like doing some LSU. I wanted to do um, a yellow, but I realized I don't have a palette that has the actual color yellow that I need, so... I just did go. All right. Now I'm just using a flat brush. And um, my favorite NFL team is the Saints. What team do you guys like? That is my favorite team. So I'm going to be using um, colors from my um, BH Cosmetics palette. And um, these are the actual colors that I'm going to be using. This dark purple right here. Um, this lighter purple in the corner right here. And this lighter yellow. And right now I'm going in with the dark purple on the outer corners of my eyes. And I'm just packing that color on there. I'm not blending it out or nothing. Just packing it on right now. Yeah, I am so inspired by some of the um makeup artists that are on um, and makeup enthusiasts that are on YouTube. One of my favorites. Um, I like B Marie. 
Shout out to B Marie, Tiffany. She's really good. And I'm still really um getting into it and following different ones. I like Taylor May. She's pretty good too. Princess Bella, she's alright. She's pretty good too. When I first started watching YouTube, that's who um that's who actually inspired me to start um doing my makeup. I love doing makeup. I'm a makeup artist, but I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel. So here I am, busting it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just still taking it on um, dark purple on. I'm not doing no blending right now. I'm just packing it on. Started on the outer corner of my eye. And now I'm about to um, get some of that lighter purple. Purple. And just kind of um, blend out the edges of the dark purple. And I'm doing a cut crease. Make it sure to um, buff those edges out real good. Now I'm going in with this yellow. And I'm using a real lightweight um, buffer brush. And it's actually an Anastasia brush. And I really like this brush. And I'm going by the brow point. Brow, brow, brow point. And um just blending out that lighter purple. Just making everything look buffed out, blending out, making it look like it's just going like that. Like everything just blended out. Yeah, and I'm gonna go into these colors one more time after this. Then I'll be cutting my crease, guys. And I find that doing one eye off camera it don't take that long. The videos won't be that long. So that works for me. And you guys, if you like this video, welcome to like the video, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate the support. If you learn anything from um, this makeup look, comment. All comments are welcome. All right, I'm getting ready to go back in with that dark purple, you guys. And again, I'm using the um, Take Me Back to Brazil BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm going in with that dark purple. And I'm mainly focused on applying it right into the um, eye joint, right in that crease right there. Bring it all the way to the front. Getting some more of that purple, lighter purple. Blending out those edges. Make sure you're blending out the edges all the way from the front all the way to the, to the end. I don't like it to look coarse at all. I just like it to look blended out real, real good. And um, you don't have to rush when it's your um, first time. The key to... um. Good eyeshadow, it's just you know, taking your time and just blending it out real good. 
that's pretty much how I learned. I was, I've been doing makeup since I was in high school, you guys. Since I was a kid, I've always loved makeup. But um, I watch a lot of YouTube, and that's what I learned a lot of my work from. I learned a lot of things from YouTube, guys. Yeah. So I'm still just blending out the edges on that dark purple with the lighter purple. Just blending it out real, real good. Now I'm going back in with that yellow. And doing the same thing. Here and to cut my crease, and I'm gonna be using the um toffee LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I'm just gonna use a flat brush, and whichever flat brush you're comfortable with, that's what whatever brush you use. I like to use this one and then go back in and use a smaller one. First, I just like to pack it on, pack the concealer on first, and just look up to see where you want your cut crease to start at. I pretty much know where mine starts at. It starts at the point where the concealer touches the um, top of your eye, but I like to go a little bit higher, like this one. And with this, you just, you know, just take your time. Don't rush it. Tiny flat brush. Get some more of this concealer. And just take my cut crease up just a little higher.
And I find that the smaller brush makes your own um, cut crease so much more precise. And now I'm going to even out the um, buff out, buff away some of this concealer before I start applying my color. Again, I just want to take some of that concealer off because if you don't, your makeup will look so heavy. It's not going to look smooth at all. Whatever color you put on there, it's just going to look so blotted. And so just on. Pat, pat, pat. Pat your concealer. color right here I'm going in with a flat brush and just packing that color on there I got my color on there, so I'm going to um, just keep packing it on there to my liking, making sure um, nothing is creasing.
I'm going in with a um, eye wing by Sephora. And this one is in number one. And I can't remember what, what kind it is, but it dries matte. But it looks like this. One thing about this liner is it dries really, really fast. You guys, I forgot the, uh, how could I get that? Not even paying attention. So I'm blending out the corners with that same dark purple. And y'all, you supposed to do this stuff first. I, I don't know how I missed that. But yeah. Supposed to do this stuff before you even apply your um, eyeliner. Alright, I'm coming in front of it with the um, lighter purple. To kind of fade it out.
and this is usually the um, part that takes the longest, just between our eyes. I think I should have put some music on. <laughs> I'll have some music playing next time. I think I said that the last time I made it. <laughs> the last video I made. Y'all gotta get together. For real. So I'm just um, getting ready to apply my lash. Let that glue dry for a few seconds. Make it kind of tacky. It's easy to apply it that way. And whatever glue you use, that's the glue you use. The strip lashes, I don't like to use no strong strong bun hold glue. I just like to use something that's kind of light because I don't like to, I don't want it to pull my real lashes off because I don't wear lashes a lot. I'm just doing it for the video.
let that glue dry too fast. I'm just applying some more glue, y'all. And then the house is so quiet and peaceful at night. That's when I love to just, you know, just play in my makeup and stuff. When it's so quiet, everybody sleep. Ain't nobody bothering me. Ain't nobody like, it's silly and stupid. I got boys and they, all I do is clown. And I just like to pull all my lash and kind of round it out. It's easier to handle like that. Alright y'all, so I am going to prime my face and I was going to use that milk and magnesia, but I'm just going to use this Face Perfector by Sheer Cover. I like it. It feels so, so sheer, just like it says. And um, normally I put some um, witch hazel on my face to get all the oils away, but this could be washed right off, y'all. So I'm just showing y'all. Yeah, put just some witch hazel on your face first. Um, it's not as harsh as alcohol. It tones your skin as well. Bring everything together. And um. I love this primer. It's just as good as um, Urban Decay. They have some good ones. Becca is like my favorite. Alright, I'm trying this um, Tarte foundation for the first time. It comes like this. Not Tarte, I'm sorry. Too Faced. And it's in the color Toffee. And I don't like 
like that you can't that you can't pour it out it has a real tiny hole in there just enough to fit the uh brush and this is my first time trying this stuff y'all so i'm gonna see how this works i like it i went to the um to sephora to buy me some new foundation um and i wanted to um try actually try the which one that was it was in sienna i can't remember what brand but i ended up picking up this one And I just like to pat it. I don't swipe it. Because that just defeats the purpose of um, packing on your foundation. It takes away. So I just I like to pat mine on. And I don't think I'm doing no contouring tonight, y'all. Like, I'm not really a big fan of contour. It looks really good and flawless, but I'm not a contour fan at all. Um, yeah, so I think I got it all blended all good. feeling so much better the last time i was doing makeup i was so sick y'all but i had to do something i just couldn't just lay in the bed and just whew, laying up in the bed it just it's like it bring most sickness to your body you gotta move around all right so so far i like this foundation it's it's kind of heavy but it um it's definitely um it says super coverage. I was going to say full coverage. It's definitely that. It's definitely a uh, full coverage. And it's in toffee. Alright. And this is in um, toffee. And I'm just trying to hurry up, y'all, because I don't, I don't like no long videos. I did one eye to try to cut it short anyway. And it's still longer than what I actually wanted it to be. But it's going to get better as long as I keep on putting out some videos. They'll get shorter. And I'm going to blend all of that out. I'm going to take some of this concealer and um, trace the corner of my um, wing just to make it look more sharp and precise. And I like to um, pack this concealer under my eye using my buffer brush. And 
And y'all, um, throw some names out there on some good brands on, um, setting powders. Every time I, it look like every time I do a video, I knock the damn lash off. And I know I don't apply that much glue. But if I'm doing clients, yeah. Uh, knock the damn lash off. Alright, that look pretty blended out real good. Get your beauty blender and press it in. Makes it look more smooth than that. Alright, let me put this lash back on right quick. I'm definitely not. This video is not going to be an hour. I'm sorry. Not today. <laughs> not today. I'm gonna tell you what, um, I'm doing makeup, it get messy. If you don't have all that stuff on your hands, colors, glue, all kind of stuff, glitter, then you ain't, you ain't, you ain't getting the job done. Don't be having my hand be my palette. Still got a blue neck seal out. And since I'm right handed, I apply my lashes quick on this side. stuff out y'all. I'm trying not to um, I don't want the video to be an hour. So I'm kind of rushed right now. Gotta challenge yourself. And it's the same foundation brush I use to apply my brush. It's like an angled round flat brush. Tell you what, if I knock that lash off again, this will go stay off this time. <laughs> so I ain't got time. All right. I'm applying some setting powder, Sasha Buttercup. All right, y'all, my video head got cut short, so I'm just starting another one.
And with my own setting powder, I just like to um, push it in. I don't take it off, sweep none off. I just like to apply it because I, my skin is real oily. And it just makes my makeup stay flawless all day. Keeps my skin from um, being oily longer. So I just like to push it in and um, I spray it with my finishing spray. And I like Urban Decay's finisher. And um, you guys, I think I'm just gonna complete this look um, with some lip gloss. But, um, I'm not going to take it. Or a nude. And I'm just using a um, Black Radiance Contour Palette. I'm using the darkest color. It looks like this. You can get it at your local Walmart. I don't know if they sell it at house stores, but um, this is a pretty good contour palette it's not cream it's powder and I love doing this it just brings everything together, it just warms your face up, brings back the warmth into your foundation, tones down the highlighter. I'm not big on highlighters either, but um, I'm going on for the video, put some on for the video, and I'm going to use Anglola highlighter in this color here. It looks like a dark brown, gold, I don't know the name of it, I must have took the paper off, but that's what I'm using, apply some of my blush from my NARS, I'm just going to use that peachy color, right there, think you can see it blush but you can see it it just does something to them cheeks and with this on highlighter you don't have to put that much this stuff here baby if you like your highlighter popping this is one for you it's by the crayon case I don't really too much care about mine to be popping I like a natural Sun kiss, sun kiss type of glow, but it, it's a pretty good highlighter. I'm not gonna lie, it's real good. Real good highlighter. See? Take some of that same highlighter. Put it in my tear duct. I'll be right back. <laughs>
And I just want a clear lip gloss. I love lip gloss. I'm a lip gloss girl. Brush out these eyebrows. And y'all, I am done with this video. gel on them eyebrows lay them down make sure they stay in place and it also makes your eyebrows look more natural too and this is the Anastasia clear gel I'm gonna bring my mold back, y'all. It's hiding all under this foundation. I gotta bring my sexy back. There you go. There she is. Brought my mold back. It's my natural mold now. Alright you guys, I am done with this video. I'm going to wash all this stuff off my face. If you guys love this video, subscribe and like, comment. I appreciate you watching. I had fun doing this video. This is the finished look. Let me straighten my hair. This is the finished look you guys. Let me zoom it in so you can see it a little closer. Alright y'all. Goodbye. Good night.